Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to talk about a subject that's going to be hard. I don't know how many of my people have um, read Daniel Quinn's books, if any of them. But today we're going to talk about the subject of mother culture. Mother culture is the group mind. It's the collective unconscious and it's the subliminal messages that the government, your family, the mother of your culture passing its information as you suckle from its teat into your mind. For instance, in our particular mother culture, we're given the idea of the nuclear family as being the superior and or the way it's supposed to be. This information is false. Human beings don't live in a nuclear family situation. Fish live in schools, lions live in prides, and humans live in tribes. Extended families were not meant for man, woman, and 2.3 kids. That's not how we're set up. We're also, in our mother culture, set up with make product, get product as the economy. If you have nothing to give, I have nothing to give you. So when you're sick, fuck you. Shit out of luck. You should have money. You should contribute. You should have a product. Whereas in tribal societies, that's not the economy. The economy is give support, get support. I'm sick, you help me. When you're sick, I help you. But it's even more devious and simple. The way things are supposed to be are made to be villainized and feared. So that way, the number one thing that could help us in our growth, we run away from. For instance, human beings were also not made to work 80 hours every two weeks. We weren't. And we especially weren't made to do it for tedious, no-profit jobs. We make only enough money to feed ourselves, and only enough money to make rent. Why? Because if we're constantly busy, we can't ask questions. And those who are asked questions are geeks, we're nerds. We are made to be shamed for being as we are, curious human beings. You're not normal. You don't want to buy that Escalade. You're not quite right, because you have thoughts of your own and ambitions. Interests? You're not supposed to have interests. You're supposed to go into debt buying a house. It's not right. But we do it every day. And more so... By listening and giving ourselves over to mother culture, we do things that are worse than just working our lives away. We hurt our children. We hurt the people we love around us. We make them value less than the cell phone. I have seen people destroy relationships over a DVD player this is all crap okay this is shit we invented to fill our time with none of it means anything you're going to die why did you spend the short amount of time that you have working and fighting and and throwing your kids out and not talking to your parents and not having a relationship with your friends or throwing your lovers away over the gas bill
why is it that in order to to begin a relationship you have to have money why can't you just talk why can't you just think why can't you spend time together why does everything have to be destroyed over this shit and yeah I'm throwing it across the room I'm growing really tired of people around me throwing their lives away and throwing what's really important away over something that's ultimately going to alienate them and drive them insane. What is the use of a giant house with one person in it? Why do you need a $40,000 humongous car if you're the only one driving it? And what is the use of all the money in the world with no time to spend it and no people to spend it on? You're running loops and you're wasting your time. And if you're going to sit there and tell me some bullshit about the point in life is to get up and work and be miserable and that's life then you haven't lived a single damn day of your life